I was having a chat today with a cyclist, and we were talking about injuries and back and stuff, and I forgot to mention, I said, you know, do you work on a computer on the floor? If I work on a computer on the floor, if you sit down on the floor, or on your belly reading a laptop or book or whatever, that can really trigger your, your disc, your vertebrae. And so I had, a, I had myself had an accident in 2003, and so I've got to be a little, be a little nurturing to my little backbones. So if you look at my on my bike setups, so this is called the head tube. They're quite tall. I don't ride a slam setup. I ride more of a Lance Armstrong, uh, Floyd Landis sort of setup. Lance Armstrong was 178. He rode a 58 centimeter. I'm six foot. I rode a 58. So even Lance Armstrong rode a quite a hot, look at some photos here. Lance Armstrong setup. So I, I was going to mention uh, anyone if you have back pain, then ride a Lance setup versus uh, Andy Schleck set up where he rode a 54 centimeter frame or whatever. So if you see a lot of my bikes, the head tube is very tall and this is actually a disc bike. This is a, a Webworks, not sponsored. I actually bought this, paid retail, paid the same price you'd pay for it. I'm gonna build this up uh, very shortly here. So this is a disc one. This is just, this would be quite a high. The seat up here and the bars is here. There won't be much drop. So if you are having back issues, all right, if you're having back issues, make sure your setup is more endurance based. Maybe it might even require selling your bike and having to buy a new bike. I mean, that's, for a lot of us buying a new bike, that's, a, that's a quite an issue, isn't it? <laughs> Any excuse to get a new bike, hey, why not? You could be dead tomorrow. So I would say, uh, if you've got a back issues and you've got a racier bike, the lad today we're talking about, he's got a C59 Colnago, quite a, more of a race spec. I would probably switch out to something like a Giant Defy or a Cannondale Synapse. Uh, giant any road things like that with a taller head tube. The Lance Armstrong setup. I mean, Lance Armstrong had it. Floyd Landis had it. So this is, that was like ten years ago. Those guys running insurance setup. That's my tip for back pain. Obviously, you're stretching stuff like that daily. You know, just going to bed, stretch out your glutes. You know, stretch out your ass. Maybe ten seconds each butt cheek. Stretch out your hamstrings. Uh, that would be my suggestion as well. But we always, when you have an injury, we always want to look at the triggers of that. The cause of that is it your cleat position. If it's your back, often it's bending so far over the bike, you you know it's, just, it's too aggressive. Especially for the if you're doing one hour crits, you want to run a slam setup because you go in the corners, low center of gravity, you slide down here. You know, but if you're doing more climbing stuff, all day stuff, Everesting, epic rides, big head tube, breathe easier. So you got Lance Armstrong or you got Robin McEwen style slammed corners or Lance Armstrong upright breathing, better back. Any more questions, write it down below. Is that, is that clear? Get an endurance style road bike and have the stem up. Sailing in the wind, anything but fucking back pain. You want to be able to train and avoid pain at all costs. Always treat the cause versus just the symptom. Thanks for watching. Is there anything about your dealings with Dr. Ferrari over the decade or so that you've known him and dealt with him that would suggest to you that perhaps he was using or encouraging mm -hmm. other athletes to use performance enhancing drugs or substances? No. In fact, to the contrary. Tell me what you mean by that. We say to the contrary. He's the I know, I know you're, you're going to find this hard to believe, but he's, to me, uh, totally clean and totally ethical, believes in, in clean, fair sport, um, but produces great results with his athletes because he's, he's so focused.